Welcome everyone to this Click Create Artist Spotlight. This week we have Cool by the Pool by Rich Caldwell. What words describe your artistic style? I would say clean. I think it's something that I always aim to achieve with what I'm shooting, whether it's a basketball court or a tennis court or shipping containers. I like things lined up. I like things to be organized. I will revisit tennis courts that have a little bit of a shadow or I've got a big tennis court project coming up and the amount of times I've gone back to tennis courts to reshoot, it's embarrassing, but I think it's worth it. So I'd say having a clean element is very important to me. It allows the picture to tell the story. So clean would be one of them, vibrant would be another. As I look through all my work to share with you guys, I start to see a theme, I'm like, wow, I do have colorful work. And I think unique because, I mean, there's so many people doing the same thing. I mean, everyone, everyone can get a drone, everyone can take the same picture. It's what can you do differently? What can you present that someone else hasn't seen or hasn't thought to put together. So I think clean, organized, vibrant would be keywords when I'm kind of looking at my work. What inspires you to create? It's everything. I drive around and I'm always thinking, well, what does that look like from above? What would that look like if I had the drone? I almost feel like we live in 2D. We live with our blinkers on and I can see what's in front of me. I want to go and capture a view that I want other people to experience. And if we all just see what's straight in front of us, we're missing so much of the world. It's crazy to me. If I won the lottery, I'd do it every day. It might be in a helicopter, but I would do the same thing because it's, it's what I enjoy. It's what I I love and I want to share it with people. What are your goals as an artist? I would say to build a legacy, to build bodies of work, to build collections that, that last way beyond me. I want people to see my work or my grandkids to see my work. And so I've kind of shifted my balance from what can I shoot? What can I shoot? What do I want to shoot? To what can I cohesively shoot? What will look good together? What will tell a story? What can be presented in a way that others will be drawn to it? Whether it sells and I make lots of money or I make no money, I, I'm going to continue to do it because I kind of got that obsession to shoot and share what I enjoy with other people. What advice can you offer to aspiring artists? I would just say create and share. Share your work. It, it, it can be the, the hardest, most daunting thing to do, but I see the evolution of what I've done. I see the evolution of other people that have been here for a few years. You just get out there and put the work in and let others enjoy it. Whether you get two likes or no likes or 100 likes, you if you're always working towards improvement, then the numbers like that don't matter. And I, I made a conscious decision to, to come off Instagram just because I would post an aerial shot of like the sunset in Laguna Beach and my likes would go through the roof and I would post a picture of cars in a parking lot and it was an organized and the, the colors and the lighting was great and I get like a few likes loads of people stop following me I'm like I don't care I, I really don't care I'm gonna if I want to share this I'm going to share it and uh, I don't need that kind of negativity or chasing likes I, I'm done I, like it became an area that I just wasn't interested in so I just create your work and put it out there Create and share. If you were an animal, what would you be and why? It has to be a bird because of the view. Peregrine falcon is the fastest, well, fastest animal in the world. Like I knew it was fast and I knew it was the fastest. I'm like, I'm gonna look this up and 240 miles an hour. The way they dive, the way they shape their body to be able to move through the air at that speed, like, it's, it's mind boggling. So it would have to be that. You're, you're the fastest thing on the planet or animal on the planet. You can enjoy the, the view from up high, you can dive into the water, like you got it all. What were your goals for this Click Create edition? 
I, I wanted to put something together that was a signature piece. The way you guys have, have, have worked and the, the curation is, is very commendable. There's, there's a lot of synergy created from collections of work. So I contribute in something that is in my style, but enables my work to be seen by others, enables my work to be presented alongside an artist that I have a lot of respect for. So that showcase element is is huge. You guys have, rightly so, a, a good following and a wide range of people that are, they're, they're here for the arts. They are here to appreciate the work. So if I can share my work with that group, great. If, if people like my work and want to learn more or, or want to, to see more of it, bonus.